Hey everybody, Kess Stadler here, associate broker and the singing realtor. Georgia, Georgia, the whole night through. And I'm gonna tell you about five very popular suburbs in Metro Atlanta. Be sure to watch till the end because we're gonna tell you about a free relocation package you can download or we can mail you a copy that gives you information about the city, no cost or obligation. So let's start out with one that is near and dear to me. Uh, the suburb is northwest of town. It's called Marietta. Marietta is a suburb about 20 miles northwest of Atlanta, and it is known for its strong infrastructure, well-managed, well-run. It's one of the oldest cities in Atlanta and has a lot to offer for everyone. As you stroll through downtown Marietta, you'll find yourself in Glover Park, which is the city center, and that offers a playground. It's got an amphitheater type place. They do festivals, markets, concerts, you name it, they offer it. So Glover Park is a great place to come and hang out with the family, meet new friends, reminisce with old friends. So you definitely want to check out Glover Park. Outside of Marietta, just to the west, is a battlefield that was used in the Civil War, Kennesaw Mountain. It has now been turned into a national park and it has some of the best hiking and walking trails you'll find anywhere. Kennesaw Mountain, Little Kennesaw Mountain and Cheatham Hill, it's a long hiking trail. People use it for backpacking, families go out there, young professionals. So you definitely, if you like to get outdoors and like greenery, you want to check out Kennesaw Mountain. If you've ever traveled to Marietta, you know about the Big Chicken. The Big Chicken is a Kentucky Fried Chicken restaurant that was built in the 50s and it's literally a big chicken as you'll see from the picture. It's the landmark that everybody uses. So when you come to Marietta, or as we say here, Marietta, it's the big chicken, take a left, or the big chicken, go north. So if you like good old Southern fried chicken, you gotta have some and you gotta come see it. Even the beak moves. So the big chicken's a great place. Marietta offers a lot of colleges and universities. Kennesaw State has a satellite office, used to be Southern Tech. There's also Life University, Chattahoochee Tech, and then the, um, Public and private schools are fantastic. So if you have a, uh, if you're looking to go to college or have a son or daughter or a grandchild that's going, then Marietta is a great place. Everything it needs right here, all the universities and the schools are top notch. All right, you know we're in Georgia, it gets hot. So we have this really amazing theme park. Uh, two are in Cobb County, one is in Marietta. It's called Whitewater. I'm sure you've seen it. It's got the big slides and splashes and Thunder Mountain, all these things. So if you've got a family and you want to go and cool off in the summer, Whitewater is the place to be. It's a great, I love it. It's, I took my kids there when they were younger and they still want to go back now. And the last thing I can tell you about Marietta, it's close to everything. It's only, like I said, a few minutes from downtown. It's near 75, which was one of our major thoroughfares. And yet if you go west in no time, you're back out in almost the country. It's a, a lot of green foliage, a lot to offer. So yeah, definitely check out Marietta when you come to town. All right, another great, suburb of Atlanta is a new one. Sandy Springs was just incorporated in 2005. 94% of the residents voted to incorporate. So it's now its own city. It's right at the intersection of 400, which is a major thoroughfare and 285, which is our, um, our roundabout, if you will, or our expressway around the city, so 285. But Sandy Springs was incorporated not too long ago. It does offer, I think 65% of our hospital beds are located in Sandy Springs. Sandy Springs is home to three of the largest hospitals in all of Metro Atlanta, and apparently 65% of the beds are available at these three hospitals. Scottish Rite, um, Northside, and Children's. So if you have a young child, no matter where you live in Atlanta, Children's and Scottish Rite are both fantastic and they offer such good services for children of all ages. So Sandy Springs is great if you have any issues like that. Another thing in Sandy Springs, we have the Chattahoochee River. Another great feature of Sandy Springs is the Chattahoochee River that flows right through the city. It's a beautiful river. 
One of the favorite things I like to do and a lot of people do is there's hiking and biking. And if you ever come to Sandy Springs, you need to visit Morgan Falls. It's a beautiful setting. You'll see from these pictures and videos, there's something to do for everyone. So it's close in, you're in the heart of the city basically, but yet when you're on those trails, you feel like you're out in the woods in the middle of nowhere. It's just really very peaceful and a great way to get some exercise and burn off some of those uh, uh, calories that you may need to, or just get out and, and enjoy the beautiful sunshine. All right, recently when Sandy Springs Incorporated, they built this amazing performing arts center. And if you haven't seen it yet, it's top of the line. I mean, it is, I've been there for some barbershop quartet so, uh, concerts, la da da, and things like that. And also just mixed choirs. The sound is incredible. And then it offers something for performing arts, singing, music, theater, whatever you want. So Sandy Springs Performing Arts Center, something you gotta catch when you come here. And then one other thing that's very important with Sandy Springs, since it is kind of the hub of the north side of town, is MARTA. The transportation system runs right through the city. So you can get to the airport in no time, you can get to downtown, you can get wherever you need to, either by train or bus. So MARTA is kind of right there. Everything you need is there. And they're shopping close, you can walk the shopping, but if you wanna go anywhere in town and don't wanna fight that traffic, you know, Marta's available. So check out Sandy Springs. I think you'd be surprised. There are newer homes all the way to really old homes with trees bigger than I can reach. So Sandy Springs is a very nice suburb. Now we're gonna talk about one of my favorite suburbs. Further northwest, out past Marietta, is Woodstock. Woodstock is, uh, it's almost in the Appalachian Trail, the Appalachian Mountains. So you get a view of the mountains from some of the, the neighborhoods and then you're still about an hour from downtown. Woodstock has a huge train uh, system that runs through it. I don't wanna say system, but a huge train track that comes through and downtown Woodstock is very quaint. It's had a revitalization in the past 15 years, a lot of development, and there's a lot of uh, restaurants there, Moxie Burger, places like that. So if you like the downtown nighttime feel, Woodstock's the place to be. Another great feature about Woodstock and one that drives a lot of people here is schools. The public schools are top of the line, everything you need, and you can just check it out. I'd be happy to send you a school report, but Woodstock has some amazing schools. Another great feature of Woodstock is the summertime. I mentioned Whitewater in Cobb County for Marietta. Woodstock has Lake Altoona. It's a man-made lake. It was built in the 50s, but it offers boating, recreation, fishing, you name it. There's a dam you can take the tour, but Woodstock has Lake Altoona. So if you like to get outside and you just want to hike or you want to get on the water, you can be on the water in 10 minutes and then you can be downtown in less than an hour. So it, it offers you the best of both worlds. So definitely take a look. You, I think you'd be surprised. Lake Altoona is kind of a hidden gem. Not a lot of people know about it compared to the other bigger lake in Atlanta, which is Lake Lanier. And we're going to talk about that briefly in a minute. Woodstock also offers a new premier outlet mall that just went in. It's off of 575 and it offers, I think, over 150 shops. So it's great. It's all outdoors. And if you like to go, if you're into golf and you like golfing communities, Woodstock was built around a lot of golfing communities. Town Lake has some of the best golf courses that you'll find anywhere. Challenging, but not so hard that only the pros can play. So if you're into golfing communities, you need to check out Woodstock. And the last thing, I know I'm talking a lot about it, but I really think Woodstock's a great value, is the houses are affordable. The ones I mentioned before, a little closer in, you don't get as much for your money, but in Woodstock, you get a lot of house for the money, relatively speaking. So if you want to report on all the houses and just an idea, any of these suburbs, I'd be happy to send it to you, but check out Woodstock. All right, now we've covered the Northwest and North side of town. We're going to shift gears a little bit. And we're going to go to the East side of town. Now we're going to talk about the city and suburb of Decatur. Decatur is inside 285, ITP we call it, inside the perimeter. Decatur about 15 years ago really had a revitalization. It is just east of downtown Atlanta. So it's almost, you think you're in Atlanta, but it's its own city. And it's its own, uh, it's just very well organized. It's, it is somewhat of a progressive city. So there's a lot of culture there for everyone. But Decatur is 10 minutes to downtown Atlanta. 
And then there's shopping entertainment. The city itself, they do all kinds of festivals. Um, there's a farmer's market, which I'm going to talk about now, is the DeKalb Farmer's Market. That is worldwide known. So if you're into fresh produce or you like going to a farmer's market for real down-home food, if you will, uh, you got to check out the DeKalb Farmer's Market. Right down the street from Decatur is Emory University, which is a worldwide ranked, worldwide known university medical school and it also has a hospital which is great if heaven forbid something happened it's right there so emory university emory hospital the va hospital is also right down the street in decatur so if you're a veteran thank you for your service my dad was in the marine corps but uh, that's a different story but the va hospital is right there and people from all over atlanta come to decatur to to go to that hospital and uh, one more thing I didn't want to forget about with Decatur is Fernbank Museum and Science Center. There's a lot of libraries, museums, everything, but uh, Fernbank is by far one of my favorites. I've taken my kids there for years. The exhibits change, so every time you go there's something new. But if you haven't seen Fernbank, you really should take a look at it. And the next time you come to Atlanta, put it on your list of things to do. Fernbank Museum, it's right in town so you can easily go spend the day in town and do firm bank but it's a great place okay and last but not least actually alpharetta is the last one i'm going to talk about in this video and like i said if you like what i've been sharing please 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 like subscribe my channel i'm trying to grow the channel and help everyone i can having been born and raised in marietta know this area really well i'm happy to give you advice happy to help and just comment, send me an email, give me a call. I'm always available. But Alpharetta is due north of the city. It's about an hour out of downtown Atlanta. But Alpharetta is a, it's an older community, but it was built out maybe 15, 20 years ago. So it's really come around. There's, that's where you're going to find most of your new construction of the suburbs that I've talked about. Definitely Alpharetta is going to have the most new construction. So if you want a newer home, you want newer shopping, that's the place to be. Alpharetta is centrally located in between 75 and 85 on the 400 corridor. We call that the business corridor. So a lot of corporations have moved their businesses to Alpharetta. And that is on its way to another lake I mentioned before, but Lake Lanier is about 20 minutes north of Alpharetta. So if you want a bigger lake, bigger than Altoona, Lanier is a place to be. It's one of the largest man-made lakes, I think in the Southeast, but it's great for boating, kayaking, skiing, whatever you want. But check out Lake Lanier. It's a beautiful lake with uh, lots of housing on it and lots of things for the whole family to do and the young professionals. So Lake Lanier, it's a great place to be. As I mentioned earlier, Alpharetta was ranked seventh friendliest city in all of uh, the country. It is great. There's something for everybody and they're very friendly. It's a very diverse area because everybody's moved in there from somewhere else. But hey, seventh friendliest city in America by Forbes magazine. You can't beat that. If you love outdoor amphitheaters, if you love outdoor concerts, the Verizon Amphitheater in Alpharetta is a great spot to go and enjoy a glass of wine on the weekends or take the kids to a concert or just go hang out and throw the frisbee. So the, the uh, Verizon Amphitheater is fairly new. It's nice and clean and it offers a lot and it's very cozy. I really like it. So you, you definitely should take a, take a look at that and consider it if you move to Alpharetta. Even if you move to anywhere in Atlanta, a lot of concerts happen there. Toby Keith, I think there's a lot of people that have played there. So you got to check it out. And singing, of course, la, you got to love that. All right, I mentioned the Lake Lanier, but also in Alpharetta, there are a lot of parks. And a really big one that has just gone crazy is Fowler Park. It's just west of downtown, and it offers something for everybody. Biking, hiking, I think they put a drop-in skateboard area there now, walking trails, just, I mean, it's, it's a park on steroids. So Fowler Park, if you haven't seen it, you need to take a look. Even if you move to Atlanta and you're in a different part of town, there's a lot of festival and events that happen there. So you'll get to know Fowler Park. I, I, I guarantee it. Everybody that lives in Atlanta knows. 
Okay, well there you have it. My five most popular, well, there's a lot of popular subdivisions and suburbs in Atlanta, but there's five that I recommend that give you a good idea of the city. I'll tell about more in future videos. Like I said, please be sure to like and subscribe my channel. If you have a comment, if you want me to do a video about a certain city, or you just want me to take pictures and send them to you, I'm happy to do that. I am a real estate broker with Atlanta Communities. I have 25 years experience. My team and I market this area well. We know it well and we'll give you an honest opinion. So thanks again for watching the video. Be sure to comment or hit the link if you want the relocation package and watch the next video. We got another good one coming up and if you ever need DIY help, I have a construction background. I'd be happy to give you some advice. You got to check out my video about how to caulk an undermount kitchen sink. Everybody these days has one of them. And why pay a plumber or a painter or a contractor? I show you how you can do it for free. <music>